The kidneys, they, they serve this vital role. They filter your blood and they remove your body of excess wastes and also body fluid. We eat and drink every day, but we don't hold on to all that stuff and the kidney helps get rid of it. The kidneys are always working behind the scenes tirelessly. When the kidney is working great, you probably don't even notice it because you're busy living a life, eating what you want, you're drinking whatever you want, and you're not even thinking about it. One interesting or you know, kind of unfortunate thing about kidney disease is that for the most part, it's silent. Really, the symptoms of kidney failure really don't show up until the very end when uh, kidney function is very, very minimal. The main things that hurt the kidney relate to other medical problems, the biggest being high blood pressure or hypertension and diabetes. There are some other you know, rare, sometimes genetic, sometimes autoimmune diseases that affect the kidney. There's nothing you can do to really impact genetic or autoimmune disease, but there's definitely things you can do to uh, prevent or treat high blood pressure and diabetes. Some people have their diabetes go away completely with good enough exercise and diet changes. There are medicines we can use that do slow the progression and ongoing damage that's happening in the kidney. The serious level is when kidney function is declining. At that point, we have to start thinking or planning about what to do when the kidney function hits, you know, 5% or less. That's usually when people start getting really sick. The options include uh, dialysis. So dialysis is this blood cleaning technology that allows people to basically um, continue to live even if their kidney function is zero. The other option is kidney transplant, which is, uh, you know, getting a full functioning kidney that can do that filtering work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you have risk factors for kidney disease, if you have high blood pressure or diabetes, everyone in that category should be screened for kidney disease through blood tests and a urine test, and maybe close dialogue with your primary care physician. If kidney disease runs through your family, I think it would be a good idea to get screened because there are some genetic causes that if caught early, maybe we could figure out and help. We're not trying to get you worried about kidney disease. Uh, what we want you to be aware of is that there are things we can do to slow the damage that happens and really put off uh, in the future and maybe prevent completely the idea of something like dialysis or transplant should it even come to that.